Hey everybody, Andy here. So today I'm going to take composite, as video and RGB and compare them for the N64. There are some other videos on YouTube for this, but there isn't any that have stills that I've seen or side-by-side -side comparisons or um, ones that are run through um, an upscaler. They're kind of, I've seen ones where people take video of their television and for, to me, you can't really get the, the real picture here, and you can't really get the real picture the way I'm doing it either, because it's, you know, run through YouTube and editor, and it's rendered and formatted and, and scaled, so it's not, you know, exact perfect picture, but I think this will be a better representation of the differences between the three cables that are available for the N64. Uh, that being said, I guess it's, I kind of, I don't mean to mislead people, the, the RGB cable is not natively output by N64. You need to um, get your N64 modded, um, which I feel is strange because the Super Nintendo, which was the generation before, output RGB. Why doesn't the N64? Uh, I don't know. Nintendo got cheap, I guess. I'm not really sure, but I found a cheap um, RGB modded N64 on eBay when my old N64 kicked the bucket. There is a difference between this video and RGB. RGB is, uh, is better in my opinion, I'll leave that up to you. When you see the side-by-side -side comparisons or what you can see through these videos here, but composite, I put in here just for the sake of putting it here because everyone has composite on their televisions nowadays. It's still there. It's on all the old CRT TVs. S video is hard to find now. So if you are trying to play an N64, you might have to use the composite video just because you don't have an upscaler or an adapter or a converter or something like that. So, I put the composite in there just so you could see, but typically speaking, composite is inferior to S-Video, and S-Video is inferior to RGB. Um, again, that's all, you know, up to you. That's, but th typically that's how it's kind of seen. In my opinion, it is worth getting an RGB modded N64 if you have the soldering skills, it's really cheap. I think the mod is only, ten, the, the board is only like 10 bucks. If you don't, then you have to find someone to do it, and then there's labor, and then if somebody doesn't live by you, you have to ship it, and then it could get pretty pricey, and it might not be worth it. Uh, S-Video might be just fine for you. Composite might just be just fine for you. Um, but again, that's that's up to you. RGB upscalers and um, cables and going through all that it's it can get pricey because you do need an adapter it's um, we don't have any televisions that take SCART here in the United States and SCART is the cable that outputs RGB just to be for the sake of keeping this simple RGB is just a different type of cable that we never got here in the United States. They have in Europe and in Australia and other places, Japan. So uh, coming up here we're going to have some stills which makes it a little easier to see the differences between composite S, S video and RGB, excuse me. You will see the colors get, it will get a little less blurry, a little less a little less muddy as you move up to S video and then get even better when you move from S video to RGB. Um, I'm going to show some side by side comparisons here. I'm not the Photoshop expert, but pretty much what I did is overlaid two images and just erased half of it. So it's not like anything crazy, but you could see composite RGB. RGB is much more vibrant. And S video and RGB are pretty close, but RGB is definitely more clear and has 
much uh, brighter colors. Um, again, that's it's all up to you. If you decide you want to spend the money on a GB, I think it's worth it. Is if you think it's worth it is the is the question. Anyways, thanks for watching. My name's Andy, and I will check you guys later.